I'm Dr. Ramakrishna Prasad, a board certified family medicine doctor and an HIV AIDS specialist. I practice at the Health Roots Clinic in Sheshadripuram and also at Vijayanagar, Bangalore. Additionally, I'm a faculty member in family medicine at St. Philomena's Hospital. The answer to this is that uh, it depends on what is meant by contact. If one is talking about uh, unprotected anal or vaginal sex or even oral sex, there is definitely a risk of transmission of HIV infection if one of the partners is HIV positive. In fact, even if both the partners are HIV positive, there is a possibility that they might have different strains of the virus whose resistance profile might be different. And in this situation, unprotected sexual uh, contact or exposure might result in the transmission of these drug resistant viruses <clears throat> between the couple. Um, I think what is important uh, to take home from this question are, I would say, two or three points. The first is, <clears throat> if we do not know the HIV status of another partner, it is advisable to use protection at all times. That is, condoms, um, including for oral sex, vaginal sex, and for anal sex. The second is, <clears throat> if you uh, are concerned at any point that you could have been exposed, uh, the wise thing is to go meet with a physician and be tested for HIV infection. <clears throat> the third is that even if two individuals are HIV negative, there is a risk of transmission of other sexually transmitted infections which may not be HIV. These include viruses like human papilloma virus or HPV, other viruses like hepatitis B, hepatitis C to some extent, and other bacterial infections like gonorrhea, chlamydia, and syphilis, among others. <clears throat> so, uh, so to conclude, unless someone is in a committed relationship and one is aware of the um, HIV status of their partner, it is certainly advisable to uh, follow precautions and engage in safe and protected sexual contact at all times. Thank you.